All right, today I'm gonna to talk about how I designed this little uh, ring here. So I knew just from designing the rest of the desk that from top to bottom, we were about 20 inches and that I knew I needed a couple inches above and below the ring to kind of center it in uh, the panel. So that of course brought us to about 16 inches uh, in diameter. So let's jump over to a clean sheet. So knowing that I needed about 16 inches in diameter, I needed to decide how many segments I wanted to do. So instead of using the circle tool, even though this is going to end up being a circle, I'm going to uh, I use the polygon tool instead. And I'm just gonna try out different uh, things. So I'm gonna do a 12 segmented ring. So I'm gonna hit 12 enter. And then I'm going to uh, drag it out and hit eight enter for the radius. All right, and then I'm gonna go over again. So I'm gonna select the tool again so that way I can reset the sides 24 enter. And eight enter. All right, and then select it again. And then this time, uh, whoops, select it again and then type in 36 enter to reset the sides and we'll go again eight inches diameter so eight enter so now i have a 12 24 and 36 diameter ring so i'm going to use this the uh, offset tool f for offset and i want it to be about an inch wide or maybe inch and a quarter so i'm just going to offset each one of these Right, so that way I can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. All right, so I'm going to right click, find center, so I have a center point to work from. All right, L for the line tool. I'm going to use uh, T for tape measure. And I know I want about an eighth of an inch for an accent strip, so I'm going to go 1 16th on each side. L for the line tool again, and then I'm just going to connect these guys in. Delete that center one. So I'm gonna select that. A Q for rotate. I'm gonna click on my center point. I'm gonna go up here and click on the center of these guys. Hit control to make a copy, and I'm just gonna swing it around to the next uh, segmented ending and I'm going to click there and then since this is the 24 segmented one I'm going to go X 24 enter and it'll swing that all the way around so I'm going to do that for both of these other guys and this one's 12 so I'm going to go X 12 Right, and then we'll do this last one here. X36. All right, so now I can kind of see which one I like the best. This one is way too simple, so I'm gonna delete that and I like this one, but it's almost too much. I think it's gonna to be too busy. So I'm gonna delete that guy. So I'm gonna go with the 24 segmented ring. So I'm gonna select that and I'm just going to, uh, so I'm gonna make it a component to protect that geometry so it's not sticky with the rest of the stuff. And so I'm gonna hit T for tape measure and I'm gonna lay in a layout line here. And I'm gonna to go to a layout line over here. All right, R for rectangle. Uh, first, let's do a layout line this direction too. So we have some good snap points. All right, so now R for rectangle. So I'm gonna make this three quarters of an inch. And I'm gonna make this a component as well. All right, so hit M to move and control to make a copy and I'm just gonna swing it all the way over here. And then I'm gonna start uh, just testing different divisions. So I'm gonna divide by five. That's two, uh, two Y, so divide by six. 
still too wide divided by seven so now we're we're kind of getting there maybe divide by eight yeah eight looks pretty good so select these guys these three I want it to be off center now they're still too wide so undo it a, a few times control to make a copy so divide by 12 yeah I think that's looking better so I'm gonna delete this guy have my three delete this guy and I'm gonna scale it out I know it's gonna be 20 inches so I'm hitting the control key to scale about the center and I'm gonna type in 20 inches enter so now if we measure this guy it's 20 inches so select this guy scale about center and I'm gonna say 18 inches whoops 18 inches there we go and then this guy is 16 I'm gonna scale it up to this just kinda of eyeballing it to see how it looks see if it looks good him to move control the copy I'm gonna lock into the arrow key and snap this guy here and then Q to rotate control the copy rotate around 90 degrees I think I want it to be pretty symmetrical so I'm just going to move these guys all right and that is kind of how I visualized and determined what the size of spacing was it's just a matter of tinkering with the design and uh, drawing it out and then once I had that all figured out I was able to determine well how long do these guys need to be this outer ring I wanted to give myself a quarter inch offset to uh, cut it around with the uh, router jig so I use the offset tool to offset that We're to continue this guy up and then I was able to take a measurement all right so then I knew each segment needed to be two and three sixty four inches long all right so that's basically how I ended up with this uh, type of configuration.